This feels scammy. Got this in a text. It is really hard in that moment. Even if you're thinking something feels a little off, you're also very hopeful that what you're being offered is real. Hey, I'm Emma, founder of Nurse Burn. Today we're gonna to talk about remote nursing job scams. My greatest hope is that you will never face off with a job scam and have a poor outcome. It is really common on our forums and on our social media to see questions that revolve around, how do I know if an employer is legitimate? How do I avoid a job scam? I'm concerned, there's so many scammers out there. I just don't know what to look for if it's not my primary hospital. I have a quick ask for you. If you are enjoying the content that Nurse Fern offers, if you could give this video a thumbs up, it really helps our small channel and help us reach and help more nurses. Here are a few things that make remote nursing jobs susceptible. First of all, scammers are looking for one of two things, usually both. They want your money and personal information. What makes remote nursing jobs particularly enticing to the skeevy scammer we have out there, there are far more nurses looking for remote nursing jobs than there are jobs. You have a particular high interest in moving into a role and they also know the things that you really want. Things like a higher salary, flexibility. Another thing that puts you at risk, if you've been looking for a little while, you might be starting to get discouraged in your job search and then Enter from stage left the scammer who seems to have all of the things you ever could want. Here are some common elements of job scams and how to avoid them. I'm also going to be including real scenarios, including screenshots that have occurred in the nurse burn community. It's really important to highlight true examples so that you can be better equipped at spotting them. So let's get to it. Spelling and grammatical errors. It's often the first thing that you'll probably spot in communication from a potential recruiter or company that makes you go, hmm, if they were legitimate, they probably would at least use Grammarly to make sure that this sounded right, right? For example, we are excited for you join our company. It's very obvious when you're reading it aloud that it's missing the two. We are excited for you to join our company. Dialect differences as well. If you are US based and you're assuming that a US company is messaging you, but you're receiving something with overly formal or like UK based English languaging, that is something to be aware of. Also incomplete documentation. This is something that a frazzled recruiter might overlook, but it's also something that you want to have an eye on if a message comes through and just says something like, thank you for applying to remote instead of thank you for applying to the position for a remote case management nurse. Things to watch out for when interviews are offered over text or chat apps. Some companies do legitimately screen candidates with text-based questions. You might see something like Humana offering a text-based questionnaire through HireRight or similar from other companies. Some can be legitimate, but this is also the avenue that many companies may rope you into a scam. So an easygoing interview over a text or a chat app might seem like the ideal thing because you don't have to be on camera. You don't have to answer crappy behavioral based questions over the phone. Madeline Mann, a human resources leader and career strategist says, if the interview process is very fast and seems to lack evaluation of your skill sets and they seem to be going through the motions and then rushing to a remote nursing job offer before you have time to evaluate the opportunity, it may be a scam. This is not guaranteed though, as some companies Companies do have fast hiring processes. And here is an example from the Nurse Fern community of a text-based conversation that was definitely a scam. Another thing to watch out for that is maybe one of the more well-known scams are unprofessional equipment processes. Whether your company offers to provide equipment or not is something that isn't standard in the remote nursing community. So it makes it an easy place to insert a scammer. Some companies do offer full equipment setup. Some offer a stipend. Often if you're a contract employee or you're working for a small company, you are going to be responsible for supplying your own equipment. Here are some red flags to watch out for from scammers who have identified that the equipment thing isn't a standard process. Asking you to buy your own equipment from a website that they send you to. They might send you a check or money order to buy equipment, or they can use a Venmo or cash app scam where they send you funds. If you are sent a check in the mail from a company and you're unsure if it's legitimate, take it to your bank and show it to them. Here is an example of a very hopeful job offer situation where the scammer immediately sent a check to one of the nurses in our community. The scammer might also have a suspicious ask for your personal information. 
be very wary of providing personal details, including your social security number, before you need to in a formal hiring process. Until you are formally hired, there are very few reasons to provide a social security number or date of birth. If a background check is required, where you are asked for that or other sensitive information, use your judgment on when it's appropriate to share your data. How to screen for job scams. Two main things you're gonna to wanna to do are vet the recruiter and vet the company. If you're being contacted by a company that you're not familiar with, or you're looking at a job at a company that you're not familiar with, you're gonna to wanna to do these things. Search the company on Google and check out their website. It doesn't seem legitimate. It should be complete, professional, and updated. Check for social proof on the website. Do they have accreditations? Were they featured on popular news channels? Look up the address of the company. They should have a physical location that you can find and look up on Google Maps to make sure that they exist. This is how you're gonna screen your recruiter. If a recruiter states they're from a reputable company that you already know of, or you've gone ahead and vetted the company because it's one that you haven't heard of, it still doesn't mean that it's not a scam. Many of the perfect scams are carried out when a scammer is able to pose themselves as somebody that works for a legitimate company. Look the recruiter up on LinkedIn. Make sure that they have a profile that shows that they work for the company that they say they work for. One of the cool things that LinkedIn is rolling out is a verified option. So you can see on their profile if they have verified themselves with some sort of government ID or even better with their company email address. Look at the email address that you receive correspondence from. It should follow a typical naming convention for a company with something like the recruiter's name at companyname.com. Scammers often will have email addresses that look similar but are slightly off from what a company's real email is. It might be something like name at recruiting.company.com or name.company at gmail.com. It really should match the emails of other people at that company. Recruiters from staffing companies might also be looking for employees to fill contracts for these major companies. So you might need to do a little bit more research to make sure that that recruiter works for the staffing company that they say they work for and that it is legitimate. Ask the recruiter to give you the remote nursing job title and the reference number. There is absolutely no reason they shouldn't provide you with this information if the job is legitimate. We also recommend contacting the company if you have concerns. Go to their formal website and find the phone number to contact them, their HR department, or their main phone line and get directed to someone who can help you. Many companies are highly aware that there are sophisticated job scams out there and are very helpful if you call them independently to verify information to ensure that you really are interacting with them. One last piece of advice to help support you in this process and to help reinforce that gut and intuition that you know so well about yourself. If you feel uncomfortable or like a recruiter is being pushy, it's not worth the risk. Landing a remote nursing job can be challenging, but don't let your application fatigue make you susceptible to compromising your personal information or finances. If something seems too good to be true, it probably is. 